Business Council was formed some 30 years ago and Bob Hawke, the Prime Minister at the time, claims credit for it. I describe myself as a godfather. We call the National Economic Summit a month after I became Prime Minister. What he wanted to do was to combine, in my book, big government, big unions and big business in order that they might get together and organise things more effectively. The existing organisations weren't comprehensive enough and uh, so the BCA provided that uh, avenue for me to know that I was speaking to interests of you know, very significant proportions within the business community in the country. The BCA has been a huge influencer in the development of effective business and economic policy. Well, anything that tells you what the practical effect of a policy will be. Understanding uh, all the multifarious factors which are operating in the minds of business. Whether it's on a large company or a small firm or individuals is very valuable. You're more likely to make better decisions. And our, our job is really to make the case for growing the economy and sharing the benefits with the rest of the community. They've been there certainly to represent the interest of, of big business, but they have done that within the framework of what's best for Australia as a whole. I suspect the Business Council in 30 years' time will be bigger and better than ever. It'll continue to be involved with other organisations because we really need to speak together as one voice in order to enhance economic growth in Australia. And if they continue to do that in the changing external circumstances which confront us, then they'll be discharging, as they have 30 years, a very significant role in the welfare and the future of this country.